find out the wrong number in this sequence of numbers. Well, all of these numbers given are perfect squares, right? 25 is 5 square, 36 is 6 square, 49 is 7 square, 81 is 9 square, 20, 121 is 11 square, 169 is the square of 13 and 225 is 15 square. Okay, now which one is the odd man out here? Well, all of these numbers 5, 7, 9, 11, 13 and 15 are odd numbers, right? So these squares are the squares of odd numbers. But this particular number 36 is the square of an even number that is 6. Hence it is the wrong number in the sequence. Right? So the answer should be option A. Next question. Find the number that is breaking up this sequence of numbers. So the numbers in this sequence are getting reduced. Right, and they are not getting reduced drastically, so we would prefer going with subtraction or taking the difference. So the difference between the first two numbers is 1, right? 52 minus 51 is 1. The difference between the second two numbers is 3, right? 48 plus 3 should give you 51. The difference between these two numbers, 48 and 43, is 5. Now, what is the difference between 43 and 34? Well, if you subtract 34 from 43, you'll get it as 9. And 27, if you subtract it from 34, you'll get it as 7. And 27 minus 16 is 11. So, where is the sequence breaking up? Well, we have 1, 3, 5. Here, there should be 7, right, instead of 9. This means that you know, because of this number, we gain this number. We subtract 9 from 43 to get 34. And this number has gone wrong. Right? Hence, option B is the correct answer. Okay. So, what is wrong with this sequence of numbers now? Okay. So, consider the first number and the second number. In order to obtain the second number from the first number, you'll have to add Right, 125 plus 2 is 127. Now 127 plus 3 is 130. And 130 plus 5 is 135. Right? And 135 plus 7 is 142. Now if you add 11 to 142, you get 153. Right? And adding 12 to 153 will give you 165. So what's wrong here? Well, these numbers plus 2, plus 3, plus 5, plus 7 and plus 11 are all prime numbers. Right? But this 12 is not a prime number. Right? And by adding this non-prime number to 153, you are getting this number 165. This number should have been a prime number. Right? But in this case, it is not. Hence, 165 is the wrong number in the sequence. Okay, what could be the answer of this question? Alright, so to obtain the second number from the first number, we need to subtract 2 from it. Right, so 125 minus 2 is 123. 123 minus 3 is 120. 120 minus 5 is 115. 115 minus 7 is 108 and 108 minus 8 is 100 and 100 minus 16 gives you 84. So where is the sequence breaking up? Well here. Why? 2, 3, 5, 7 are all prime numbers. Right. And 8 is not a prime number. Isn't it? Alright. So this should have been minus 11. So it would have, you know, gotten a next correct sequence. So hence, minus 8 yields 100. So 100 is the wrong number in the sequence. Hence, option C. Okay, what could be the answer of this question? So, if you observe carefully, you, you can take the differences between the numbers. 
right so the difference between 4 and 9 is 5 the difference between 9 and 19 is 10 19 and 39 is 20 90 plus 20 gives you 39 here 39 and 79 it is 40 and um, 160 minus 79 is 81 and this is 319 minus 160 is 159 right so we are getting kind of a pattern here 5 gets you know doubled to 10 10 again gets doubled to 20 this again gets doubled to 40 but here we have a problem 40 is double is 80 but here we have 81 right so this is kind of breaking the chain so we are deriving 160 from 81 so 160 is the wrong number in the sequence isn't it so option b is the appropriate choice for us all right what could be the answer of this final question okay let's see if the difference funda works for us so difference between 10 and 14 is 4 difference between 14 and 28 is 14 and 32 minus 28 gives you 4 then 64 minus 32 gives you 32 right so kind of a pattern here and 68 minus 64 is 4 and 132 minus 68 gives you 64 well we have a pattern right we have fours in alternate places right alternately we are adding 4 okay so alternatively we are adding 4 so let us keep them as it is 28 plus 4 is 32 64 plus 4 is 68 right so these are alternate fours now how do you obtain 28 from 14 well if you multiply 14 by 2 that means if you double 14 you get 28 right 32 times 2 is 64 right now 68 times 2 should give you 132 does it give you 132 well 68 times 2 gives you 136 right now we've got what is wrong in our sequence this is basically a trial and error method so in the second try we've got our culprit and that is 132 which is the wrong number in the sequence